Here's part two of the speaker cooler video. It's going to show you how I did my design on the inside. Uh, you know, everybody can do what they want to design theirs how they feel. I, I pulled a lot of these ideas from videos I've seen on YouTube. Uh, here's the external cigarette lighter. It's uh, wired in directly to the battery here with a switch. And the wire is kind of short on all my connections. Uh, so it's, it's kind of plug in as you assemble. And I just tried to disassemble a little bit to show you guys what's going on here. So there's a rocker switch to control that. And uh, I, I use that for charging the, the cooler while it's in my boat. I have a double male cigarette lighter. I plug into my boat's power source and it can, just continues to put power to the, boat, uh, the cooler and the battery uh, while the boat's running. And I can turn that on and off for extended uh, times on the water. Uh, just the deck here. And here's, here's the switch as you guys saw before. This is the uh, power for the uh, two cooling fans, the power for the head unit, and it controls the speakers on the back side, the front side, and this one controls the um, power inverter, cigarette lighter, and USB uh, here. So we'll pop this up a little bit. There's not much room. Just kind of have to bear with us and see what we can, what we can see in there. The wires, I cut them pretty short. So here's the custom uh, subwoofer enclosure that I made. So it actually, the sub has its own airspace. And this was a budget project. It was just some scrap wood I had around the house. I didn't go buy, you know, expensive uh, plywood that you normally make a good sub enclosure out of. And then my amp is bolted directly to the side right here. And uh, RCA is in there. And then the head unit, and here's the back side of all the switches there. Uh, let's see if I can get this off enough here. And then here are the two cooling fans. I can turn those on. Get those going. And a big jumble mess. One thing I did have to do, I bought a power distribution block from, say, um, AutoZone or Walmart. I don't know. It's a cheap one. And uh, split the power from the battery to go one uh, directly to the amp and one to power all the, the, the oddballs, the, um, the fans, the power inverter and the head unit uh, and all the switches and it's this just is something I threw together and I made a, my own little block down there if you can see it too well it's um, just for all the ground to come in from all those items I just listed to go back to the battery it collects it all and it sends it all back to the uh, the battery and then the cutouts you know there's lots of space on the back side for each of these speakers and then I pulled the, the grill off the front to show you how the uh, hole is made for the subwoofer to reach the enclosure. And when I was doing that, I, uh, I pinched the, the foam surround right here. It started to separate it, so I put a little Gorilla glue to reseal it up. There's no effect on the, uh, the sound. It just looks a little funny, but no worries because the grill will be on there and you won't see that when it's back in business. So that, that's a quick little overview of the inside. Oh, I forgot to uh, mention the antenna. It runs the uh, full length. And it's just a normal car antenna right there. Plugs in the back of the head unit, and it, you know it's got great reception. You know it's, it's horizontal, extended almost all the way. Um, this is the uh, Bluetooth receiver for the, the head unit to connect to any of my Bluetooth-enabled phones. And I made a little notch so it comes out of the cooler just a little bit above. And if I need to, I can extend it way out and let it hang out so I can get a little, little better reach and push it back down. Uh, let's see, what have I forgotten? Uh, just a, it was interesting with the switches, these two here to control the, um, the speakers on each side. So if we're tailgating or at the beach, I don't have to blast the people behind us and just have a directional sound coming to us. Just to be considerate of other people. So the um, comes off the amp, goes to the switch, and then uh, from the switch goes to the speaker and then return. Uh, you know, just got to split those those legs there for it, and uh, that that was one of the really good things I liked about how it turned out. That and also the um, the Bluetooth receiver. Uh, you know, nobody freaking uses CDs anymore hardly, uh, and it's got the USB input right here on the front, so I can put a flash drive with you know 30 something gigs worth of music from the, the iTunes library, or whatever, and go. But mostly I just use a Bluetooth Pandora and. Um, we're good to go. So, hey, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave a message in the comments down below or private message me, and I'll send you more info as you wish. Thank you for watching.